Good morning, it's Thursday, the day after the Moose Stuffy launched and UPS is here delivering the cardboard we need to ship out the Moose Stuffies to you. That's good, we will need that for later today. A bunch of cardboard and some of our uh, containers for basalts. I've got a little video I wanna shoot that's not going in this video because I just had an idea. So I'm gonna take care of that and then cut soap. Mom's gonna work on a few things. And we'll just, you know, go throughout our typical Thursday here. I don't remember what I was gonna say. I'm trying to leave, and I just don't remember. Oh, soap is done. That's what it was. I'm done cutting the soap. My gate's not opening. Come on, gate, open. There it goes. So Simple Suds is done. Just one of them. The other one has to harden a little more. I can cut it either later tonight or tomorrow. And now I gotta run out. We printed a little card that's gonna go inside the Moo box for when we mail out Moo. So I gotta go print up that print up. I gotta go pick up that little card, come back, start boxing up some orders. That's the plan. Yeah, I just need to say, wow. What a day. It's just been a long time. We've been working on, you know, cutting the soap, making uh, pasta. We made some pasta, yep, for the kids. Some meatballs and pasta. What else did we do? Mom worked on the website a lot today. So if you haven't checked it out, the website should be all refreshed and up and running real good. And what else? I worked on another video about uh, milk. I left the light on in the barn too. About if you have to supplement milk for your goats. That video probably already came out. And the last but not least, I shipped out a bunch of moo packages. Shipped out a whole bunch of moo packages to you guys, little mini moos, and started signing a bunch of books. So we just appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna call it a night when I head over to the barn and Olivia gets to go to gymnastics. One more update. So the weather is coming in supposedly five to eight inches of snow tonight. So the kids are gonna have a sleepover with their buddy Jace. He's on the way, he's already got Friday off from school. So we are gonna uh, have him over. He hasn't been over since pre-Thanksgiving, I wanna say. It's been a really long time. So he's gonna come over, hang out the weekend with us, work on some projects, and then play in the snow. It's super dark out, but I just realized I never put up any snow sticks. That could be an issue. We might not know where the edge of the driveway is once the snow starts falling. Stella, are you going to be okay? Piper, you're going to get lost. You're going to get your little Piper, Piper hoo-ha all wet, all cold. Yeah, she got it all snowy. Oh my gosh, they are going to be so tired. They're going to sleep all day. Nice job on the barns, kids. Nice job, they, they're lost in the snow already. So the forecast called for three to five inches, which is nothing. I normally don't put the snow blower on until we start getting forecasts of like 10 inches or more. This is 10 inches or more, I think. We're pushing a decent amount of snow here. Snow blower would have been nice, but we're just gonna use the plow. I'll run a clip of Tyler using the snow blower from last year. Start them young. Get those kids out there early. They love playing with tractors. Yeah, good. Go ahead. Push it straight. Straighten out. There you go. You're gonna put it right in the grass over there. Get off the grass! Jeez. Go that way. Straight, keep going. Yeah, keep going. And now 
now once you feel like you're off the cement, right, what you're getting close to, lift up the bucket about an inch or two so you don't hit my grass. Good. Now just keep going. Keep going. Put it right to the fence. Yep. Good. Stop there. Dump it off. Yep. Dump it out. is clean up this whole corner right here, which is what I usually do. So keep going backwards, backwards. Okay, stop about here and take another pass and put it in that pile. Your bucket's too low. There you go. He had the bucket so low, he was lifting the tractor off the ground. Sometimes when it gets really, really bad, I put chains on the back tire, but those are super hard to put on. I haven't put those on. I think in like two years, I haven't used them. Chase is still plowing. Jake is cleaning off the truck. The dogs are barking at me. Or the snow. We got both cars running to move them out of the way to make room and Tyler's just playing down there somewhere. Tyler's playing. Is everybody super cold like me? I'm freezing. Not that cold. Oh my god, I'm freezing. I'm not cold. You didn't wear any. You didn't wear any I don't have any snow pants. Whoa. I fell in the snow when I was snowboarding. That is your problem. Olivia's good. These gloves are amazing. At those, snow. those gloves are actually really good. I have rolled yeah. in the snow multiple times and I'm fine. And you're good. Everybody's prepared but me. I went on the, I went on the trampoline and bounced. You did? Yeah, and it, all the snow went. My hands right are frozen face. and I had gloves on. Oh my goodness. Work gloves on. Those don't. This have is any very insulation. true. Very true. Um, what did Piper do that was bad? I heard you say Piper No. Well, that's just her middle name. Oh, oh, Piper No is her middle name. Piper No is. Nothing. Piper No is her full name. We've decided to do something we do occasionally when we're kind of, I don't want to say bored, but like we don't want to work. We already worked. It's like 11, I think, now on Saturday. We worked this morning, Mom. Oh, I'm gonna get run over. Where are you going? Oh, you're going here. He's going in Bay too. Uh, Mom made some new labels. I pack up, packaged up, and shipped out some orders. But um, we're going window shopping. So the ultimate goal here is to go shopping without buying anything. That's the plan. We've got all the kids. We're gonna pack them all in the car, buckle them all in. Tyler beached his ATV. He can't get it. Hop on. Nice job, Tyler. Yeah. Oh my goodness. He thought it was a cool idea to park it on top of the snow bank. But yeah, we're gonna go window shopping. Take a look at some things that we probably can't afford and some things that we want but don't need. And then we're gonna come home. That's it. That's what we're gonna do today. You guys are coming along, but probably not video, just some photos. Hi, Olivia.
I already said we will. There it is, Saturday night, and we did a whole bunch of window shopping. Everything from ATVs to Cabela's, to donuts, and he's now playing with ice snow. No, so ice it's time to go to bed. It's cold. I can't believe I've gone almost a whole day without talking to you guys. Actually, it's 4.30ish, and I think I did go the whole day without talking to you. It's Sunday, Sunday fun day. Actually, it has been fun, but we've been working just nonstop today. A uh, bunch of bath salts getting bottled up, a bunch of moo stuffies getting shipped out. And what else did I attempt? Ooh, ooh. I attempted to make hash browns. It didn't come out so well. You know, like a McDonald's hash brown with the shredded potatoes. Have you guys ever tried shredded potatoes and make your own hash browns? Yeah, it didn't work. I'll have to try that again sometime. And now, yes, I know. I weigh in on Monday and I'm going to get pizza. It's for the kids though, right? It's Sunday, it's for the kids. I didn't want to cook. We've been working all day. So that's it, it's just for the kids, not for me. <laughs> Pizza's my enemy, it totally is. That's fun, got home with the pizza, and when you have Tyler, Jace, and Jake, basically three teenagers, I know Tyler's not a teenager yet, but in about 40 days he will be. Um, like a full pizza, and Quan and Olivia, full pizza, actually I think two full pizzas were gone in less than like eight minutes. Like, ridiculous. And then I ate more than I should have probably already. What do I got behind me? Oh, I have Jace behind me, look at that, there he is right there. So yeah, and then we lost power and internet, and I don't know why. So the generators are, oh my gosh, I almost fell. The generator's running. I think, actually I think the generator went off. Yeah, generator's off, so power's back. That was really strange. Beautiful looking day out here. It's Monday, super cold. We've got Tyler out sick now, not COVID or fever related, something else is going on. We have to figure that out. And I'm gonna try to go get some hay, hopefully. So that quick video you just saw was Piper getting like, she's just angry. She can't run after the cats. She's barking like crazy in the barn this morning. She's kind of annoying. So I'm out here with the boys. And we're gonna decide that Giovanni here, he's getting so old that he's gonna try to get some grain throughout the winter. 
to keep him warm. And Gus here, because he's still growing, is also going to get some grain. This little guy is just a lucky byproduct of a buddy of his that's going to get some grain through the winter to keep him warm. Because in the winter, just like us humans, we eat more to stay warm. It's a metabolism thing. It's just what we do. We hibernate, we eat more, we stay inside, there's less sun, so we're inside more, we eat more. The goats do it to stay warm. Humans do it because we're bored. I just got a text back from the hay people. Now these are the people that we used to order those huge 21 bale blocks from, if you remember those, the ones that Olivia fell off of. But I found out they wanted 11 50 a bale or something like that, delivered. And then when I asked, what's your price non-delivered? It went down to $9.50. That's a $3 difference. And if I'm ordering 150 bales, that's a $350 delivery charge. That got me all messed up. That got me all upset. And their excuse was they have to pay the driver. Yeah, if your driver's making 350 bucks for a two hour trip, hour down, half an hour here, hour back, two and a half hours, that's overpaid. So that just seemed really high to me. So we're gonna attempt it. Go up, get some hay, come back, see what it's like. Is it clean? Is it easy? Is it worth it for us to do it and save that money? And then does it turn into we need a trailer that can handle more? Which we've needed a trailer because we don't have one that can handle the tractor. So I don't know. Will the trailer pay for itself based on save and delivery? We don't know. We'll figure it out. All right, chickens. I had to move a bunch of chicken and duck food that was left in the truck. <clears throat> and it's going to get in the way because the plan is to put some in the horse trailer that we have, the livestock trailer, and some in the bed of the truck to get a good load. Hopefully 70 bales. That's the goal. Piper here found a spot where there was an old broken... What is that noise? Oh, that's the water coming off the roof up here. I'd love to solar panel that someday. Actually, we've talked about it once before, solar way down there in the field, but the math didn't come out right. Um, so now the plan is to possibly solar house a pie and this roof, because between those two, it could generate a good amount and offset our electric bill, which is the most expensive bill we have, actually. Yeah, it's up there. It's either the first one or the second one and the most expensive every month. All right, Piper, let's go. That's beautiful. Ridiculous how they move this hay around. I need one of those machines. 